I'm Doug Kynard. I'm a director of the Drinking Water Protection Division at the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control. As a result of, of the Christopher outbreak in, in Milwaukee, the Interim Enhanced Service Water Treatment Rule came out, and part of that program was that under certain conditions, surface water treatment plants had to do comprehensive performance evaluations. And we didn't, we didn't have any idea really what that was or how to do it. I mean, we were asking EPA for training in that area. Uh, what we got was a lot more. We were the first region where all the states or the different states came together to uh, do an area-wide optimization program, which was focused on uh, optimizing treatment of surface water treatment plants in order to prevent um, the waterborne disease outbreaks. When we started, I guess in 97, we did a background before we started implementing the program, and uh, we had um, uh, about two or three water systems in the state that were optimized or met the optimization criteria, uh, serving about 250,000 people. Uh, within seven years of that, uh, we had 2.5 million people served by water systems meeting the optimization criteria. And uh, we felt like that was a, a great success, but really it was more of a word of mouth campaign on our part to talk to our water systems and convince them this was the way to go. And they took it from there. Um, but since then, you know, uh, different regions in the, in the nation have, have adopted their area-wide optimization programs. And um, it's, it's transitioned into disinfection byproducts and other contaminants. And, uh, uh, Really, at this time, I think it's a huge national success story. Uh, the Air One Opposition Program as a whole